Hi, my name is Sandra Milligan. I'd like to share a little about me. I'm a 46 year old woman that holds the titles in this life as wife, mother, stepmom, fur child mommy, sister, daughter, 30 year entrepreneur, and friend, just like you. I'm sure many of these titles are familiar. I want you to find comfort in knowing that I've been through many things in life that have led me to where I am right now in this moment of time, right here ready to help you live your best life. I've always coveted that I've been aware my entire existence that I'm here to help people. In every part of my career of involvement since the age of 16, I've helped people in some way, shape, or form. It all started with my first career. I started a riding school where I taught children in a therapeutic riding program who were physically and mentally challenged. A very rewarding time in my life I cherish very close to my heart. Fast forward over 30 years and a lot of things in between. It is the life challenges I have faced that have helped me to find compassion, non-judgment and patience to help others live their best life. So what are we talking about here? Emotional weight or physical weight? Your weight can be one or the other or both, which is often the case as they are usually a reflection of each other. It's extremely difficult to rid the body of the physical weight when the conscious mind has yet to understand why we cannot lose the weight. The subconscious mind is working in the background with all of the answers. I want you to ask yourself, why do you think you cannot lose the weight? Maybe write it down. Go ahead and do that right now. So what were some of your answers? You can go ahead and share them in the chat box if you like. Did you write, I am depressed, so I eat to feel better. I am unhappy, so food is my only joy in life. I'm hungry all the time and I don't know why. Maybe you said, I hate myself or don't deserve to be thin. No matter what you wrote, I want you to know that losing weight is possible. You deserve to be any weight you want, and you can be any weight that you want. Even if that means having an acceptance for the weight you are now, and learning to love yourself, forgive yourself, and teach yourself the tools to truly be living your best life every day. The guilt and self-loathing of the weight you carry is a behavior you've likely been doing for a very long time, perhaps even your entire life. It will not undo itself instantly, unfortunately. The good thing is, there is a solution. Maybe not the one you think, like a magic pill that will melt away the pounds, or a switch you can turn on to make yourself feel happy. I've met many people who have lost the weight they think was the problem, only to find out how deeply unhappy they were about other things in their life. This leads well into my next slide. Food is the symptom, not the problem. Think of it this way. When you were a baby, you did not keep eating if you were full. You pushed your plate away and ended the meal. You even threw it on the floor if you wanted to make a declaration of your feeling of being satiated. We learn the behavior of overeating. We decide in our minds that we are unsatisfied. Once your mind has decided that food is just not satisfying, you can now understand why we just keep eating. It's not taking away that feeling we have created in our subconscious mind, a feeling that we have been trying to satiate with food that never ever goes away. Does this sound familiar to you now? The good thing is, you have the power to change the relationship you have with food. You must do the work to retrain your mind with better thoughts, better choices, ones that will lead you to the desired result. If that end goal is to lose weight, your mind will automatically choose the choice that leads you in that direction. This is the power of working in the subconscious mind working through what I like to call mindset reframes in hypnosis is a highly effective way to help you achieve your desired outcome. I will explain a little more about that in the coming slides.
The second important fact I want to identify here is that all diets are fads. Yes, I said it, all diets. I don't believe in dieting and I will tell you why. Healthy eating is not considered a diet and you must learn what healthy eating is so that you can make educated choices about the food that you eat. This is something I call the 80-20 rule in relation to food. 80% of the time I'm eating healthy choices for my meals and 20% of the time I eat the foods that I consider not so healthy but satisfying to my palate. Let me explain a little further. 80% of the time when you choose healthy foods, I want you to consider them as the need foods. You must change your mindset to see these foods differently if you want to change your mindset about food. The other 20% of the time, I want you to think of this food as exactly that, the want food. You don't need it, you just want it in that moment. This will allow your mind to take the time to make the decision if you want to have it or you might decide to change it to a need food. Starting to make sense? Your mind will start to see food differently and lead you to the choice that helps you get to your desired result faster. My goal is to make you feel indifferent to the want foods and an importance and desire for the need foods. The second important fact I want to identify here is that all diets are fads. Yes, I said it, all diets. I don't believe in dieting and I will tell you why. Healthy eating is not considered a diet and you must learn what healthy eating is so that you can make educated choices about the food that you eat. This is something I call the 80-20 rule in relation to food. 80% of the time I'm eating healthy choices for my meals and 20% of the time I eat the foods that I consider not so healthy but satisfying to my palate. Let me explain a little further. 80% of the time when you choose healthy foods, I want you to consider them as the need foods. You must change your mindset to see these foods differently if you want to change your mindset about food. The other 20% of the time, I want you to think of this food as exactly that, the want food. You don't need it, you just want it in that moment. This will allow your mind to take the time to make the decision if you want to have it or you might decide to change it to a need food. Starting to make sense? Your mind will start to see food differently and lead you to the choice that helps you get to your desired result faster. My goal is to make you feel indifferent to the want foods and an importance and desire for the need foods. So is it really worth it to take the shortcut, using diets that are only short-term fixes, depriving yourself of the life you really want to be living? I think you know the answer to that by now, but in case you need a little more incentive to get off the diet train, here are the answers to the most common questions of why diets just don't work. Most diets fail because they are rigid and unsustainable. They keep you eating the same foods over and over. You get bored, you start to dislike the food, and then start going off the diet. And you know what happens from here. Now the weight is coming back because you've deprived yourself of the enjoyment of food and had a couple too many binges of junk food that you're now feeling guilty about and hating yourself even more, leading you to try to push those feelings down with more food. The tumultuous cycle continues once again on another failed diet attempt. And in the last case scenario, where you may have lost a few pounds and have been doing your best this far, but you cannot seem to lose any more weight even though you're following the diet to a T, you seem to have hit a plateau and then tell yourself you must find another diet fix to fix this problem. In telling you all this, it's no secret now that I've seen this many times before with my clients and heard about each and every failed attempt at a diet they've tried 
only to have left them feeling worse about themselves than when they started. On average, weight loss attempts last four weeks for women and six weeks for men. Does this sound about right? So the last piece of the puzzle is getting closer. It's not a magic trick. I can't snap my fingers and make you thin or happy in your life. But what I can do is teach you the tools you need to navigate through what life gives you. Teach a man to fish and he will eat for life. Another one of my favorite sayings is you don't know what you don't know. How would you know how to fix this? If you had the answers, you would have done it by now. You might wonder why I have not written a book with all the answers. It's simple. I can't put them into words. It's the process we go through in your subconscious, and there is not one formula. Each and every person is different. So I must do the work that comes up in your session to help you navigate the answers. I'm able to help you navigate your subconscious mind through a guided meditation or hypnosis session, allowing you to discover the key that will unlock your potential in this life. I'm like a tour guide, really, helping you find answers in your subconscious mind to your issues and traumas from your past and helping you to reprogram beliefs and past feelings that do not serve you any longer. You see, the most powerful thing you can give your mind is understanding. And when you can understand why you do or feel something, you can change the behavior. So let's finally reveal the most important factor of what's been holding you back from living your best life. The root cause. So let's think about that for a minute. Ask yourself, what do you think is the root cause of your current relationship with food? For some people, it may seem obvious. Eating makes you feel better, or so you think. What eating does is it makes us feel something other than what our emotions or our subconscious want us to feel. Remember, food is a symptom. Weight gain is a symptom. Feeling bad about yourself is a symptom of a different issue. This is the root cause, the key that unlocks all the answers And it's sometimes buried in the meaning of your subconscious mind that you cannot understand. So what this ultimately means is that if you have not determined the root cause of the problem, the problem isn't going anywhere because your subconscious mind will overrule your decisions every time. The mind does what is familiar to it. So if making bad choices is familiar, then that's the choice your mind will make every time unless you change the pattern subconsciously. The root cause reveals the truth. We may think we know it until the subconscious reveals something different. When we deny our mind the power of knowledge of the root cause, we do things like push our feelings down with food. We hide behind our physical body weight to protect ourselves like a shield from the pain we have endured in our lives. Our minds are designed to survive, to protect us from harm, so the body responds to what the mind tells us to do, whether it's conscious or subconsciously. That's a lot of eye-opening information I have just handed you. I know, but I promise you will see things differently and be able to take the next steps in freeing yourself from the self-sabotage you are causing yourself with food. I want you to ask yourself, When is the last time you acknowledged your feelings, really felt them and allowed yourself to express them, either verbally or through emotions like crying or laughing? We do this every day when we are feeling safe and when we feel like we belong. When we feel different, like we don't fit in or we don't belong, we often deny ourselves feeling these emotions because they are uncomfortable. Or when we do, we try and suppress them oftentimes using food to just push them down, as far down as they will go. The reality is you must feel your feelings until they no longer require to be felt. It's not your fault you are overweight or suffering with a bad relationship with food. The world has set you up to succeed to fail. What an oxymoron that is, right? Think of all the convenience foods. We forget our lunch, 
We go through a drive through We are hungry and crave sugar. It's absolutely everywhere. And to top it off, our foods are filled with softeners and fillers that make it so we just feel more hungry after we eat them. It's a lose-lose scenario for the most part. You must learn to choose differently because the world is not going to change and hide the sugar for you when you walk in the room. So you need to have the right tools to make the right choices, to have control of your feelings, thus leading you to the action that will give you the desired outcome you want and deserve in this life. You need to believe you deserve to be living your best life. The sooner you believe that, the sooner your life will change. We need to rewire your mind to better things than what you have been giving it or to feel indifferent to the wants that do not serve you and the end goal that you are trying to achieve. Yes? So here's your light bulb moment, your aha moment, everyone. The solution is simple. Do the work change the outcome. As you know by now, I love using quotes and here is another one that sums up everything I have just said in the previous slides. Einstein said it best. You cannot do the same thing over and over again and expect a different result. If you are ready to change your life now to get everything you ever wanted, then congrats and let's get started on your new life journey. I'm ready to speak with you on a one-to-one call to discuss how I can help you and which program would best suit your needs. So one last thing I want to have you do right now, even before we speak on our one-to-one call. I never want you to say, my weight again. If you call it yours, it will be yours. From now on, call it the weight The detachment from your body will be faster and will allow your mind to start processing that you do not want it there anymore. It's take action time. Go ahead and book your call with me. I look forward to helping you live your best life. Start envisioning everything you want because you must be able to see it and envision it if you want to achieve it. Thank you for taking the time to watch this webinar. I'm giving you a free gift because I want you to know that I take your investment of time and money very seriously. You deserve to succeed in this life, and it's my pleasure to give you this gift. It's a $100 gift card that you can use towards any multi-month program, the two-month or the three-month program with Heightened Life Plan. So if you're ready, don't hesitate, as this time of year books up quickly. And I know after watching this, you're feeling very excited about the new journey you're about to go on. You can go ahead and book your one-to-one call with me by going to the website www.heightenedlifeplan.com or go ahead and click the link you see below. If you are ready to get started, I am so very proud of you for taking this next step in choosing you. Choosing to take care of yourself right now and learn a new path to taking control of your emotions and actions that will change the rest of the trajectory of your life. I know not everyone has the time or financial resources to work with me directly, so I created this mini course to help get you started on your new journey to living your best life and to not selling yourself short of what you truly deserve. Sometimes we all need a kickstart, And this mini course will take you on a journey of change, a journey of choosing to take care of you and learning why it is important that you take action in your life right now. We are not promised tomorrow and every single day is a gift. I want you to experience what it's like to be living your best life starting right now. Don't let the weight of your self-doubt and disbelief hold you back this time. You're worth it. I promise you that. So go ahead and get started, and I look forward to hearing about your journey soon because I'm not leaving you after this mini course. No, I will be here supporting you, encouraging you to be living your best life, and giving you tools and tips to constantly stay in your best vibration, in your most positive mindset, because you deserve that. So don't forget to join the Facebook group with the link that will be provided to you so you can stay in touch 
and reach in to connect anytime you like.